All right, so seriously, there are... Uh, try, and, try not to use expletives and swear. You're so concerned that Iran now has made a fuel rod that we have to go to war with Iran. Really, it's been 10 years since they fooled you with the weapons of mass destruction in Iraq, and apparently you've gone back to sleep already. Really? Okay, so, let's see, how many nukes does China have? How many nukes does Russia have? North Korea's got a nuke. Are we going to war with them? We're going to bomb them, in a, right? You really want to lay our children at the altar of war and spend more treasure trying to defeat the Persian Empire this time. The Persian Empire was here before us, and they were most likely, the way we're governing ourselves, going to be here after us. I mean, weapons of mass destruction, really, they, they fool you with this every time. They're going to attack us. They get one bomb. Now, who has, in the last 200 years, who have they attacked? They have been attacked. But who has the Persian Empire attacked in the last 50 years? In the last 100 years? Compare that with our track record. And you guys want to go bomb Iran. Or you guys, we have to keep them from getting a nuclear weapon. Okay, are they part of the nuclear proliferation treaty that, that Israel didn't sign? Why, yes, yes they are. Is the IEAA in there constantly? See, and we should be trading with those guys. And we should be helping them actually, if they, if they, well, first off, nuclear energy is the stupidest thing we humans do. But besides the point, we should be in there like the Russians are and the Chinese are, right? Trading with them, um, overseeing their stuff firsthand. Their, when I say stuff, I talk about their nuclear facilities firsthand. Right? But just like last time, the inspectors that are in there are saying they haven't got nuclear weapons, they haven't got weapons of mass destruction, they haven't got anything going on there that could be used for war, right? Oddly enough, the company, the, the, the nations that have oil uh, want to get off oil and provide electricity for themselves using a means other than oil because they see the writing on the wall with the oil thing. Now... Iran can't make enough gasoline to supply their own needs. You really think that they're going to be a threat? Who are they going to go bomb? I mean, seriously. I have friends that are like, well, you know, those Muslims are crazy. So they would, once they got the bomb, they would use their bomb. They're not so crazy that they would use their bomb and then immediately get bombed into oblivion by, say, Israel that has, well, we don't even know how many nukes they have. Because, oh, they're not part of the non-proliferation treaty, and they don't let inspectors into their sites, unlike Iran. And now, we're, like, again, they're going to fool you again? The beat on the drums of war, and the Americans are like, yeah, we're going to go to war with Iran! Because... Why aren't we at war then with, with Russia? Well, we will be at war with Russia. They basically said, and China too, both of them have basically said, if you go to war in Iran, right, then you're going to war with us. Because they have billions and billions of dollars invested in that country. Because China trades with them. Russia trades with them. Now, our foreign policy is insanity. We should be trading with them. And not just Iran. We have to trade... Any nation that wants to trade, we trade. That's not isolationist. Right? In fact, it's getting to the point where this foreign policy that's supposed to be non-isolationist is turning us, you know, into the pariahs of the planet. Really, you fucktards want to go and start another war. Really? I mean, I don't care who you're for, whether you're a Democrat or Republican, are you really wanting to start another war? Are you that fooled? Every time the bankers come into our country and rape and pillage it, last time they did it on a massive scale was during the 30s. Take a look at what was going on there. Basically, same thing, foreclosing on property, right? Foreclosing on farms, stealing land, basically, is what they're doing, right? Using debt as their weapon. And then when things get so bad that the people start to get a little bit unrest, right? Take a look at what's going on. Look at our history. Just look at the history. So what do they do? Start a war to get you out of it. 
And they make up a great story about how, you know, these Nazis, they were killing millions and millions. They were. But how many did Stalin kill? How many, how many, I mean, you look around, and you just, you fall for it every time, and it's enough to make you sick. Now, if we would trade with them and use this thing called diplomacy, maybe we could manage the situation a little bit better. We're not, I mean, like the Cold War, they just tried to scare you to death with the Red Scare, and here, hide underneath your desk and do the drills. I don't know if you're old enough to remember that stuff. What if the bombs come down? Right, I only got just a very little bit of that when I was a kid, and they stopped doing it. Right? And then they turned it into earthquake drills in Hawaii. That was actually a, <laughs> a uh, legitimate concern. But the fact that, you know, the Russians weren't going to start World War III with nuclear weapons. But right now, we've got some Israelis, it seems these Zionists, have hijacked their government, hijacked our government, and are trying to make, like, biblical prophecy come true. The eagle and the bear and the edit, right? We, we're not surviving the, the, this next one. If it goes hot and it goes nuclear, these insane people think that it's going to be, uh, we're going to go back to the Stone Age. I think Einstein told us, I don't know, <laughs> if we fight World War Three. I don't know how we're going to fight World War Four, but it will be with sticks and stones or something like that. I can't remember the quote, I just butchered that horribly. But it's just, it, you get the idea. We're not surviving a nuclear war. You know, we've got more than enough weapons, and our, it's obvious that the people that govern us aren't smart enough to understand that if we start throwing nukes around, it's over. So they're not going to just throw one or two nukes. There'll be one or two nukes from this side, one or two nukes from that side, one or two nukes from the other, right? And, it's, and we're done. Now... Can we trade with these guys? We could trade with these guys. Could we use diplomacy? Could we get, you know, who's, I mean, take a look at the map. There's a great thing circulating on the internet about all the bases we have surrounding Iran, and they're the threat. Now, wh Iran, they don't have a central bank. Libya doesn't have a central bank. North Korea doesn't have a central bank. Right? Now Libya does have a central bank, now that we've done the dirty work of the bankers. And you guys were fooled, again. And look, you know, hindsight, and gee, we didn't do such a good job there. I mean, you people are just ridiculous. Look at yourselves. Do you have children? I mean, really, are you going to lay your children on the altar of war along with yet more blood and treasure and that's hoping things don't get hot and when I say hot I mean nuclear that every single time they trick you in the war every time how are we gonna get out of this economic crisis war and you fall for it every fucking time god damn it what's it take